then have that. And of course, the, they follow the ground rules of the OE. Mm -hmm. uh, but for the uh, base load, base load, that is the most difficult yes. because uh, you have only very few technologies that can provide the base load. Uh, so we, we are careful in the base load power that uh, we will be putting up. There are many uh, interested uh, investors in that uh, particular area. Mm -hmm. But all power investors must pass through the scrutiny of the ball Energy Development Advisory Group. Mm -hmm. Pero yung 40 na yun, all renewable or may alam doon? Iba. Halo-halo siya. Halo-halo siya. 14 lang yung natapos namin na nag-hearing sa Ball Energy Development Advisory Group. Uh, next Friday, we will have, I think, five more investors presenting to the BDAM. We call that the BDAM. So, we have two major uh, programs in Bohol that will be PPP. Uh, it's uh, the power and uh, bulk water supply. Yeah. Yung bulk water supply, naka-FS na kami, katatapos na, USAID is helping us fund the bulk water supply. Yung FS or yung? Yung FS. Ano yun, sir? Bali, may river na kayo nakita na? Kayo uh, our source of water, especially in Pagbilaran and Panglao, are now still underground water. But so, it's not a good source because it's not sustainable. So, we are uh, looking at our river systems, and we have uh, we have seven very very strong watershed areas in Bohol. Uh, Cebu is salivating with our water supply, <laughs> but uh, we are we are using our uh, water uh, sources now, uh, the surface water for uh, level three type of uh, distribution. But uh, we the province is only up to the bulk water supply. We allow the towns to handle the distribution so that we will not disturb the existing uh, water systems. Sir, yung 14 na yun, um, at ano yung mga parang prominent or mga, mga big... Uh, Hindi ko na maalala, meron kaming record doon eh. If you'll be interested, my client office can provide you. We issue advisories. Uh, uh, we are up to advisory for now. Uh, the advisories will provide investors all the details of our power situation, including uh, the power demand, uh, the power projections, uh, our classification of uh, investments that uh, we would uh, like to have in the fall. Uh, it is a guide for the investors. And every time there is a policy forum or, a, uh, or an investment forum, uh, they are, the, the result is issued through advisories. So, the next investors would know what's ha what happened in the previous uh, activities. So we will not have problems explaining to them. Mm -hmm. And then our investors will have no problems with generating data. That's the most difficult part of promoting an investment, when you don't have the data. So we made sure that we have accessible data, uh, all the data already in our hand, so that every investor who comes, we give the set of data. It's for you to study if you are ready to invest in this. Okay. Sir, yung seven na uh, rivers na yun na pwedeng for bulk water, uh, tinitignan nyo rin na pwedeng, kung pwedeng may component din yun ng power generation or... Yes, of course. Power and uh, power and water. Seven po yun na rivers? Uh, yung, yung rivers ng iba are, are good for irrigation only. Mayroong rivers na potable water ang pwede. Mayroong din combination o... Kasi, kasi pag ginawa mo siyang dam, pwede siyang water, pwede power, pwede rin siya irrigation. So, uh, Out of the seven, ilan sir yung pwede? Multi-purpose na rin? Pwede mo power generation? I, I, I could cite two or three na multiple. <laughs> and, and we have a, uh, we have a uh, master plan, a water master plan because our sources of water was studied already. And uh, uh, they are pre-identified kung saan yung mga water supply and anong type of uh, investment ang pwede. Sino sir yung nag-provide ng study? It was supported by a, an ODA uh, project. JICA or? In the ATA, uh, European ATA. Mm -hmm. It's so easy to invest in Bohol. Meron kaming investment promotion ah. center. Ah, okay. Meron kaming one-stop shop. Uh -huh. <laughs> Nandun na lahat yung mga BPI, SSS, Bill Health in one okay. setting. Uh, nandun yung go negosyo. Mm -hmm. Nandun yung BUB from the big business to the small business. Pag bago kang business uh, person or FW, you have funds, extra funds, you go there, 
you can be taught on how to start your business. If you want this type of business, you tell them, okay, make sure that you focus your business on something that is a gap, an identified gap. If there's a gap of transportation, you go into transport. If there's a gap into this type of service, you go into that. Because if you compete, then chances are you, you lose the game. Uh, wag kayong magtayo ng store doon sa katabi rin ng isang store. So parang tinuturuan mo talaga ng basics yung yung small small investors, yung micro uh, micro small and uh, medium uh, investors. And then meron silang dito B. Now we are moving from town to town. We choose the big towns. Dinadala namin yung uh, heat heat bohol uh, investment caravan. So nandun yung DTI, nandun yung DILG, nandun yung lahat na players in the issuance of licenses. Mm -hmm. So the mayors bring in also their own licensing people. They bring in the investors, community, and then they, they hold briefing, they hold seminars on how to open new business. So, dinadala uh, namin sila. Hindi sila stationed in the capital lang. But the, the main leader there is the Bohol Investment Promotion Center. So, the, meron kami tatlong klaseng caravan. Yung isa is the Heat It Bohol Caravan. That is a caravan managed by Lisa Flores. And that's all services from all government agencies, from national and local, uh, municipal, province. And together with all volunteers from the private sector. Dati tatlo lang ang private sector na volunteer. Ngayon, equal na kami in number or more sila. They have invest, they have private sector. Ano yung sila? Hospitals or banko or eskulahan or, uh, or or store uh, restaurant na nagtuturo sa pagluto so all that who would like to do uh, corporate citizenship activity the the province will gather the people of one town in one area all tents will be installed parang shopping you just go around and get free service pati haircut pati masahe Pero libre yun, kasi private sector ang gumagawa or, or government agency. Pati yung mga bulag na meron silang training school for massage. They deliver their service there free. Every time na magkaroon kami ng karavan, hindi nag-absent ang mga bulag. Nagumagawa <laughs> ng, ng massage. No? So, and the agencies, they prepare for that. The national agencies. Like licensing, uh, they release their licenses there. Uh, NBI. Oh, they, they, they issue their NBI clearances there. Uh, that, that's really bringing the services uh, at the doorstep. And then DepEd, that's the time the superintendent goes to the schools, inspect the facilities, then merong nag, merong nag reading to the students, the culture and arts group. They, so lahat, think of anything that you can provide in terms of free service. So it's really a, a caravan. So that's one. And then we also do agri caravan. The agri caravan naman, it's agriculture. Mm -hmm. So, and then the other one is the business. Gold uh, yung ano, yung nasalubo yung problem dati, yung parang maripit ko dati, it's more recent dito. Yung problem na power distribution or the yung po of yata. Power distribution. Yung, ano, yung, kaya doon mahal yata yung Korean sa <laughs> Tagbilaran dahil. Hindi, ang uh, Tagbilaran is the lowest. Yes, it is a joint venture of the province and and uh, the private sector. The private sector, Sir Nag bidding kami, it's a uh, cell phone group. Cell phone power. Yeah. Uh, Joint venture ng probinsya at saka USAID yung tumulong namin doon. And then, uh, uh, the, that was in 1990s. And then, uh, uh, now we are getting dividends from that type of partnership. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Take note that the provinces are the least in taxing powers. So, provinces should engage in other forms of generating revenue that are non-traditional. Because if you go simply on taxing, you have a very uh, small taxing power and your tax base no one is not enough, uh, it's not big enough. The cities have more taxing power, they have more tax base, and the municipalities have more taxing power. Kaya, if you look at the financial uh, setup of the provinces, most if not all of the provinces in the country are Era dependence. Era dependence. Lahat na probinsya. That's why we argued to the national government na in the connectivity, especially in the roads, since national government has all roads already concreted, almost about 90-99%, uh -huh. 
uh, national government should start looking at counterparting with the local girls mm. so that our connectivity will be hastened and that's our uh, the strategy towards more economic growth in the countryside. And uh, 2016, we had we successfully convinced national government. So we had 6.5 billion in the roads budget for counterparting with local. In the 2017, as proposed now under President Duterte, Secretary Jokno uh, was present in our Governors League meeting. Uh, after the elections, no? so mm -hmm. we had an election of the league officers, and then uh, he announced uh, that it's now 18 billion from the 6.5. So that will help enhance and hasten the uh, uh, improvement of the roads, so more connectivity in the countryside. So, how do you think will federalism affect the world? Oh, I'm very, <laughs> I'm very uh, pro federalism. Except that we have to look into the viability of the states. Okay. So conceptually, mm -hmm. I am pro mm -hmm. because it's more putting into the hands of the people the governance mm -hmm. and the quick response of smaller mm -hmm. states mm -hmm. on the needs of the people. Uh, it's like bringing the powers of the president to several states mm -hmm. and allowing each state to run their affairs. Mm -hmm. But without moving away from the centerpiece, which is the national government. Mm -hmm. uh, this is some kind of local government code, decentralization, uh, self-governance, and local autonomy mm -hmm. multiplied several times. That's federalism. We started it with the local government code. Mm -hmm. That is why yeah. you will hear uh, Pimentel talking strongly about federalism, because he was the author of the local, the local government, government code. But, uh, just to say a caveat or, or a, a cause for concern. Okay. Let's make sure that the clustering must be well studied and defined because oh. it will involve a lot of considerations. Yes. Your social, economic, uh, even uh -huh. political, mm -hmm. cultural uh, uh, aspects. But you will think on the viability of putting different uh, areas into one. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the mm -hmm. most critical part. So. If you will say, are we ready now? I cannot yet say. Uh -huh. But if you ask me, are you in favor of federalism? Conceptually, yes. <laughs> so that's, <laughs> that's the best one. <laughs> 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 because I have to see how the Congress and how the planners would put together. For Bohol, it's not I, I would hope that uh, we don't just leave to Congress the the putting in yeah. before it goes to Congress, yeah. then we studied by experts yes. uh -huh. or people who knows the socio political yeah. dynamics of every yeah. area. Mm -hmm. uh, I know how Congress works because I was there yeah. for nine years. So, ang importante pag pasok doon, talagang inaral na yan. Wala pa naman yung mga Congressman na mag-aral dyan. Kasama yung kasama yung lahat na ano. So, they, they should be studied by the experts of this country to make sure that the clusters are well uh, defined mm -hmm. and the considerations of how they will be sustainable and viable mm -hmm. should be there. So, <laughs> parang gano'n yun lang yun. Overload ba? I'm sorry. Oh, marami na kayo. Mga lima yan.